what is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel well today we got some goodies that we're unboxing here uh, we're going to unbox these first and then we're going to get into the meat of our video today um, this box this package actually comes from the crew over at triple a wave i've been chatting with them for a few weeks and uh, working on some hardware with them and uh, we finally got it in today we'll be doing a video with the contents of this box over the next few days not just today um, so we're going to unbox this look at everything and then we're going to uh, dive in to one of the products in this box tonight so we got this over from AAA wave they sent us over a variety of different goodies here i'm actually using my gopro with my chest mount tonight so hopefully this uh, works out and looks good uh, so the first thing they sent us uh, for a future build we're doing later this week is the Lexar NS100 uh, solid state drive. We also have, let's see, this is definitely new and different. This is a Stone V20. Uh, I have actually never owned a hardware wallet. Uh, you know, I started mining back in February. This is my first hardware wallet, to be honest with you. So I am really excited to actually use this as a super new miner and try to figure this out. We are gonna go ahead and, well, impregnable <laughs> uh, just a funny word um anyways i know maturity i know come on guys uh, anyways uh i am excited to do an entire video on this we'll talk about this in the future here let's see what else we got want to make sure the gopro is recording here yep still recording awesome so we have a boatload of fans in here these are 120 millimeter fans six year warranty actually uh directly from them uh, Airflow CF CFM is 56, so not too, too bad, 56.3 uh, actually here. Uh, so we'll be trying these out on a new frame that we'll be building later this week. Uh, so let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just putting these off to the side right now. Oh, 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 you see this sucker? I know you guys see it. We'll talk about it in a second. Don't rush it. Jeez. All right, so let's see. Two four so, okay so we got eight fans total that'll be awesome looking forward to those uh this beast of a mother here well let me take these other things out first so we have a pcie one to four uh, multiple hub adapter so this is one that we're going to do a separate video on here coming up uh, in the near future i definitely want to do a whole separate video on these types of adapters uh, but this is another product that they sent us that I'm eager to get into. Let's see what else here. We have a, a 1 to 16 riser card. Okay, cool. So this is what we're probably going to get mostly into today. Uh, and we're going to discuss more of these today. I want to compare these for some of the ones that I'm running versus the AAA Wave ones uh, to see. I know a lot of people have questions on do the, you know does the AAA Wave 1 to 4 does that work on older motherboards? Does it work on newer motherboards? And then there's another one to four adapter that I have that I've been using for a while in my rigs and I wanna see vice versa. Uh, because there's a lot of you guys that have reached out and said, hey, I bought the one off Amazon. It's not working in my newer motherboard. Uh, so I wanna do some testing with this later, uh, later in the video. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. We have a, another one of those. Awesome. I'm going to put this guy aside. And I think this is another... Yep. Okay, cool. So we got three of those. That is awesome. Uh, we do have an H510 Pro. This thing is ridiculous. Uh, we'll look at that in a minute. And that, let me put that over here. Fancy, fancy. Haven't had one of those before. And then we do have their new uh, GPU frame. Oh, this thing's heavy. Okay, so we do have their new GPU frame. Uh, we will be building this in a future rig later this week. All the stuff that you guys see on the table today, um, the hardware wallet, the uh, fans, the splitters, everything, the frame, the H510, uh, uh, we will be doing videos on all of this stuff this week uh, and getting into it um, in order to give us plenty of content this week as well as dive into this hardware. This guy I'm definitely excited about. Uh, this is the H510 Pro BTC uh, from ASRock, the new board that came out here. Uh, supports Intel, which is awesome. It's a chipset, it's the 510 chipset. 
we'll go ahead and open this up. This is ridiculous, guys. Ridiculous. Let's take a look at this. Can't move on in this video without looking at this. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, isn't it funny how we as miners get excited over hardware? Okay, so uh, it looks like that we will have to go ahead and pick up a processor before we dive into this, which is fine. Um, and uh, But look at these. Woo, they look so good. So we have six total uh, on the board. Oh, dude, this is a really clean board. Mole, or here we go. Molex on the side for some power uh, if needed, uh, which is really sweet. And uh, our 24 pin. Look at, look at this here. Ready? Check this out, turn this around. Bright sticker, this connector is for starting up secondary power supplies. So that's really nice. So, you know, you can come in over here, you get plugged in, and then you can connect over here for a secondary power supply if you're running a ATX. And then even over here, look, they have another one. This connector is for starting up a secondary power supply. So these two are for secondary power supplies on our, on our left and right. And this one is our 24 for there. We got here, this port is for mining only. Look at that. There's a little USB port there, which is nice. I'm just kind of pulling this aside here to take a look. So yeah, so this is definitely going to be an experiment on its own, figuring this all out exactly. Um, you know, taking a look at exactly how this board will work. Uh, I think that's the most exciting part about this entire setup uh, that I'm excited for to really get into this. There's not a ton that came with it in the box that I'm seeing. Nope. Okay, cool. But uh, we have a lot to dive into. We will get into this board at a later date because we do need to get some hardware for this board to make this fully functional here. Um, so we'll come back to this board in the near future. So uh, this guy here, this is kind of what I wanted to, I know there's so much exciting hardware here. Uh, so this is what I wanted to focus on today was the PCI splitter. And I wanted to go ahead and compare this one um, to what we've been using on, uh, for quite some time. So this is the AAA Wave. Um, splitter. It's the PCIe 1X to 16X riser card. So a lot of people are using these now just because of the current state of the mining motherboards. Uh, even in a scenario like this, you know, you're definitely going to have to utilize uh, some of these here, even in these scenarios. But um, I have some of these in use right now in uh, two of my mining rigs, actually, where I have two of these in use uh, and I'm mining uh, with multiple cards in those rigs in order to accomplish having six total GPUs. So let me go ahead and cut over to our other camera and we're gonna go ahead and get started in testing these PCI splitters. Okay, so over on, we have two rigs actually that we're running these splitters on. Here is one right here that you guys can see. And now this is the, uh, these are the two splitters from Amazon. We're running this on a rig that has a total of six R9380Xs. And then over here, I have some uh, RX 470s, four gig cards, mining Ravencoin, and uh, sometimes on Ergo, depending on what's going on. And they're currently mining on those PCI adapters. So uh, those are the ones, as I said, directly from Amazon. So I wanna take the AAA Wave one, and I wanna validate that this is gonna work in an older motherboard. Those motherboards are actually HP business tower motherboards that we gutted from like an old HP tower like over there uh, that you guys can see in the corner. And then we gutted that machine and repurposed it because it has two PCI slots on it. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna power down this rig and I'm going to go ahead and put two of these in and we're gonna power it back up and make sure that everything works perfectly as our first test. Alrighty guys, so I thought I would show you beforehand uh, of powering this down just to show some validation that everything is working as expected within Hive OS. As you can see, we are running six R9380s in here. Two of them are 380Xs that we are running currently right now. They are mining Ethereum Classic uh, and they are running on LOL Miner. So we're going to go ahead and shut this down and I'm going to swap in the AAA Wave 1 to 4 PCI splitters. 
Okay, so we have the old one uninstalled here. Uh, you can tell the difference because I took off the plate. Uh, the new ones fit in with the plates already installed. I did put them in the exact, the USB ports in the exact same spot just to go ahead and avoid uh, them getting goofed up in Hive OS. Uh, but we'll go ahead and power that back up in just a second. Um, so as you can see, they're, they're super, super similar. This is our Amazon one uh, that we purchased and used in the past. I, I couldn't even tell you the brand to be honest with you, uh, but I, I have used these before. I'll put a link down below for them. But these are the AAA Wave ones. Uh, seems like a little bit better of quality uh, all around, a little bit uh, bigger of a heat sink on those as well. Other than that, they seem super similar. Uh, I do like that the that this one, the plate can stay on and it fits on my motherboard versus having to take these off because these are a little wobbly inside of the motherboard with the when the when they're on with the plate without the plate. Um, but let's go ahead and get this powered up and then we'll check to make sure everything works before we call it a victory. Okay guys, so we are back up and running here uh, and look at this, all six of our cards came up. We'll have to make sure that they do go ahead and mine. That's gonna be super, super important. I am gonna go ahead and turn off the hash rate watchdog just to make sure that it's not interrupting the boot. Uh, we'll give it a minute here. It looks like the miner is coming up, which is awesome. Uh, let's refresh this one more time, see if we start to get some hash rates to it, which is what we're waiting for. Okay, so we got some initial hash rates. Um, we'll give it a, an, another few minutes here to actually go ahead and level out. Why we wait for that, um, let's see here. What do I want? Let's go ahead and go up to the top here. And you can check these out, guys. They are available over on AAAWave.com. You guys can go ahead and check them out if you guys are interested over there. Um, you can find them very quick and easy. They are under, uh, once you come in here, under PC components and other accessories and peripherals. And you can find them right here. Uh, they actually have 50 of these in stock right now, which is awesome. I, I would recommend you guys grab a few. Uh, they work really well so far. You know, we, we've seen uh, on our older motherboard that we've had great success with them. I look forward to testing these on a newer motherboard. Uh, I think I'm going to end up testing these on the H510 uh, motherboard that we did get in. So I'm going to save that for a future video. I'm glad that this ended up working on an older motherboard there. Here we go. Perfect. Hash rates coming in, looking good. This is, these are hash rates that I expect. I'm going to go ahead and turn my watch watchdog back on. Um, so that looks good across the board, uh, which, is, which is phenomenal, uh, which is good to go. Um, other than that, guys, that's probably it for today's video. Short and sweet, a little unboxing uh, with also testing out the uh, PCI 1-4 to 4 adapter. Once again, if you guys do want to go check it out, go ahead and give AAA Wave some love. Uh, that would be the first stop that I would go ahead and check them out at. Uh, do want to remind you guys over there on AAA Wave that uh, you know they do offer free shipping, which is awesome. Um, and they do have... They do, the nice thing is with these is that there is a warranty on them. Uh, you do get product warranties. The ones off Amazon are, you know, they're, they're, they're questionable, uh, but these work. These work. So I'd rather be using these than like something off of Amazon directly. Um, and the nice thing is, is these are coming right from a mining shop versus just grabbing them from whoever off Amazon. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys very much for joining me today for checking out my AAA Wave Care Package as well as the PCI Express 1 uh, to 4 adapters. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.